Hey Outlaw Survivors, how are we going? We are back playing some more Westland Survival. How are we doing guys? Look, enjoyed the last video. I'm happy to get back into Westland. Uh, been a very long time. So we're back again. I'm going to go through um, something a little bit different today. We're going to farm some resources and these are probably going to be one of the more important resources that you guys want to make sure that you start acquiring and building up once you guys get this new update so we're going to check that out today but first we're going to go into the base and i'm going to sort of show you what i mean by that as well so we're going to dive right in while i wait for this to load through but while we're doing that guys if you haven't done so already make sure you go ahead and smash that like button for me it really help me out with this video and all the other videos that i have on the channel also guys, comment down below. Let me know if you guys are in this new update. If you're not yet, uh, let me know your thoughts about this update, uh, what it means to you guys. Have you guys been planning if you haven't got the update yet? Um, have you been preparing items um, from what you've seen? All that sort of good stuff. Please let me know what you guys are doing. And also guys, let's have a look. All right, so I'm gonna jump in. We're going to check out some of the new um, uh, items that have come through into the game from what I can see. So it look like what we've got here is the, the new Agastache, uh, the Plantago, I think that's been modified, I'm not too sure. Uh, the Medicative Healing Herb, that's the old one, I know that for sure. And from that you've got newer items like the, the Jute, which if I can find it that'll be good. So that's just standard rope. I think, actually, I think that's all over here. Yes. So you've got jute and you've got cotton. They're the three materials that you guys are going to find that you may start need, uh, that you may need to start getting moving forward. So I'm going to show you the best way that I found um, to acquire all of those items. So let's go and do that right now. So I'm going to jump onto my horse here. Let's just top you up. And we'll get right into it. Alrighty, so I'm going to go over to the buffalo pasture. And we're just going to farm this. And the great thing about this and all the zones here, aside from the uh, the temporary events that pop up, there's no timer whatsoever. So you can literally run to say, whichever's closer, whether it be the town, or I think it looks like the river crossing would be the way to go. It's just got four less energy on both ends, being your um, running if you've got the, ho uh, the horse, or sorry, riding if you've got the horse, or running if you're just on energy only. So whichever way you guys sort of want to play it, up to you, but it's there however you guys want to do it. So we're going to jump in anyway. And the great thing about this zone is that there's very little resistance in terms of uh, natural enemies. So what I mean by that is if we sort of do a quick run in, as you can see, there's buffaloes everywhere. They're yellow, so they're quite neutral. So they're not going to bother you unless if you bother them. Depending on your spirit as well, the wolf may be or may not be a threat to you. But whatever it might be, you just if you want to take him out, you take him out. Anyway, the only other resistance that you're going to get, without a doubt, which I'm going to swap weapons for this, is the bear, which unfortunately he discovered me. But anyway, not a problem whatsoever. And you do get the fine, or sorry, the tender meat as well as the thin hide. So you just want to grab that. And this is what we're going to farm today. So thin hide and all the other little materials that we've got around here too. And the machete does quite well with that. And that's basically it. There might be another wolf or two around here, but up to you guys if you want to take them out. But essentially from here, guys, all that you want to do is just hit the auto button and just let your player go. Now what he's going to do straight up is he's pretty much just going to pick up everything as you normally would do anyway. But with minimal fuss, you guys haven't got any sort of issues or problems clearing out this zone. 
So as I said, um, unless if he's provoked by an enemy, he's obviously going to attack him. As you can see here, all the buffaloes are not going to bother you, as they have historically been in the past. Unless if you decide to um, uh, provoke them, then that's when they're going to start attacking you. So there's a few ways to do that as well. And I do believe for this update that I think the buffalo have increased their, um, their health as well. So I find that interesting. Again, it's been a while since I've played the game, so this may have been changed, you know, in between updates, but I'm only looking on this as on face value now, so at least, um, at least you guys get a bit of an insight as to sort of what we're trying to achieve here today, but as you can see, we're getting Jute, we're getting the Agus Stash, I think that's how you pronounce it, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, it is what it is, but we've got the Cotton as well, so yeah, and a plenty so if you guys do this you know a few times over you're going to start to get yourself a decent amount of stockpile um, with these materials and as I said this is something that you guys are going to have to start doing as well especially with the uh, the thin hide that you want to change into leather that's going to be something that's going to be very uh, much needed early on when you start getting the, the new workstations and you pretty much have to start rebuilding from scratch and which is unfortunate in some sense as well because I know a lot of players that have been playing this game for such a long time have actually you know, invested a lot into their base and to go through a whole process to redesign the whole base is going to be quite a feat for some people. Um, fortunate enough for myself I didn't have to go through um, too much pain to change my base um, as I didn't really invest into sort of stone and things like that. I mean, I guess that's a good thing in hindsight, but in, in a bad case as well. I'm not too sure with the requirements now. I think they're a little bit more on the excessive side to obtain and uh, to a point. So it is theoretically cheaper to upgrade your base as it requires less materials, but then there are more individual materials that are required to upgrade your base, if that makes sense. So I'll, I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys a little bit later on depending on how long this video will take but from what I've seen is that you need less, you now require less planks, things like that. Um, I think shale blocks are involved now to upgrade your base to level 3 which being your brickwork and I think you do need, um, uh, I think it's either bronze nails or iron nails to complete stage 3 or whether or not that might be for your box, for your storage boxes, I think that might be the case. So, and that's another thing as well. So if you want to start upgrading your boxes as well to the higher level so you can put more storage in there, that's, that's another upgrade part that you need to undertake as well. And that could be done through your, um, through your builder's menu when you um, selected the storage box. Uh, click on the storage box and there's the ability for you to up, upgrade it to the next level up from whatever it, it might be currently. So. There's little things like that that you guys sort of need to have a look at um, and that's what I found as well and yeah so like I said depending on how you guys look at it now from what you've done to um, to where the game is now may or may not be in your best interest. My suggestion from the last video and I'm going to say it again you guys want to make sure that things like this that you want to make sure that they're already upgraded and ready to go before this update rolls around. Now I think for myself, just on the storage boxes, I think I did have a couple storage boxes already in place, not on my map, but in my inventory slot. Um, and I think they disappeared come the update. So that's a, that, that was a little bit annoying. And I think that'd be concerning for you guys. Now I'm not too sure if anyone else has experienced that. If you have, comment down below and let other people know about that. Um, Cause that'd be appreciated for everyone else, not just us. But anyway, um, while we're here, I'm going to grab what's in this um, uh, little storage section here. And we've got a few things here, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab them. And we'll get back to it. And there's something else over here as well. So you may get up to one or two um, chests here. Get some sulfur. So you go ahead and take them. And then we'll just get back into it. So I think we're nearly close, if not, we're pretty much there with getting all the raw resources. I think there might be a little bit more to go. 
Oop, and there is another little looting section here. Actually, I missed that when I... Oh, there you go. My bad. What have we got? Cotton fabric roll. Nice. Okay, so we're going to take all of that. And I think what I might do right now is... I think I might go find my horse. So I think that might be a good idea. And I've noticed the player's hunger value has actually increased. Where did I put my horse? Where did I park you? Oh, there you are. Alright, so let's go drop off things that I do not need. Okay. Uh, that should be enough, actually. That should be enough for what I want to do next. So what I'm looking at here is I'm just making sure that I've got enough um, inventory uh, slots, which I think I've got, so I don't think I should have too much of an issue with this. So as soon as my guy here has done what he needs to do, I think you guys get the idea anyway. So pretty much it's you know as self-explanatory. You realistically have got zero issues with this. As long as you get past the bear, you're fine, and you guys can just sort of move on and grab, obtain all this. And basically, you just rinse and repeat with this. You don't have to worry about um, you know, any sort of threat. And depending on what type of um, weapons that you want to take into the zone as well, again, entirely up to you guys, how you guys sort of want to play that. And there's the other bear, so I really should get the machete back because I'm going to need to tackle him in a moment. I'm not going to worry about the sneak attack. We're just going to let him do what he needs to do. Nice and easy. And I think I've collected all the resources. Yes, I have. Okay. So as has always been known, if you guys have farmed buffalo before in the past, uh, that's just the wolf there. We're just going to find the first one here. Okay, and we're sort of going to hit him. Now, usually what happens with this is that they either run away and then they come back at you. So, in this case, he just went straight for me, which is fine. Which means I can just, you know, get these guys out of the way a little bit quicker. But these guys will drop consistently two thin height and two meat. So, if you want to do this quickly, you just want to pick them all up and uh, move on to the next one. And basically what you want to do from here is just keep doing it until you've completed the zone. And then you just got to be careful as well because you may attract more unwanted um, buffaloes as well. And it's very easy to get overwhelmed with, this, uh, with these buffalo, especially if you try and take on more than what you can sort of muster. As you can see, he came back for me. So yeah. And that'll be the easiest way that I would go upon this. Um, you know, ranged weapons are preferred. Well, suggested and recommended by me, I guess. But if you guys have a different weapon in mind, then you guys go right ahead and use whichever weapon uh, that is more comfortable for your needs, okay? So, so I'm just gonna keep, um, keep on this guy here. And, whoop, broken the weapon. So we'll change over to this. And hopefully the other buffalo should come back. There we go, haven't forgotten about you. And easy. So with this, so at the moment, um, I'm already over 20 uh, thin hide, and that was from other, from those bears that I attacked earlier on before. I'm tracking it via uh, the meat that I get from the buffalo. So my previous, um, uh, run through of this zone. I managed to get about nearly 40 uh, thin height and nearly 40 meat. So if you guys multiply that by a couple of runs, you guys will get the um, get the picture with that, and you guys will be able to get a lot more, um, you know, materials for yourselves. And this will ultimately give you guys a bit of a boost up, um, especially whoop, especially when you're trying to craft items or upgrade your workstations to get certain materials and yeah so pretty much 
I figured I'd just sort of go through this now and just give you that, you know, bit of an indication. And I'm not going to go through and take out everyone in the zone today. So I'm just going to take these, the last few out. And there we go. Okay, as long as no one's going to come back and attack me, I'm just going to mosey on out of here. And naturally, as I said, the zone will reset as soon as I leave it. But just from that alone, whoops. So I've got nearly, nearly 40 hide there and over 20 meat. So as I said, it's actually a no brainer to do it. You just got to be smart in the way that you want to sort of attack it. Uh, up to you guys how you, you know, naturally want to do this. So for me, I believe, you know, any sort of ranged weapons will suit. And it all comes down to you guys on how much range weapons or what type of range weapons that you guys want to use before um, you know you enter the zone anyway. So we're going to head back home and I'll sort of quickly show you now with the building prospects as well. Uh, with building up your base in terms of just upgrading and things like that. And for me a couple of times over I had made the mistake in um, hitting the upgrade button accidentally is what it is but it's happened so okay so you've got your basic guys here tells you exactly what you need as a requirement so you need one two three and three you've got your stakes iron stakes things like that um, which this i don't understand iron stakes and you there's no mention of iron here which i find funny but anyway you've got the barbed wire you've got your sandbags and you've got your traps okay so let's go and look at that. So the upgrade path now, as was said before, the requirements have dropped in, in terms of what you need as quantity wise. So you only need four planks, four bricks, and you need one copper nail to upgrade it to a, a higher density wall. And to go to say stone, you're gonna need eight blocks of shale, six pine uh, planks, oh, sorry, oak planks, what am I saying? and you need one bronze nail just to give you guys a bit of an idea when you want to upgrade it to the next level and then here if you want to go ahead and upgrade your storage boxes so you're going to need five oak planks one bronze plate and one oh sorry three bronze nails to upgrade to these storage boxes here and if you want to go to the larger box you're going to need five maple planks one iron plates and three nails so that's where the expense comes into it but the quantity is a lot less so it's a rebalance effect and i think what they've done now is that i mean look to be honest we've actually had this game on the easy side for a very long time so what they've done now is they've pretty much slowed everything down so the progressional status for a lot of people, the grind is going to start for a lot of people, whether you're inexperienced or, or experienced or intermittent in between, it's, it's happening now with this update and moving forward. And I, I guess this sort of sets the tone for newer updates to come when they implement newer um, additions into the game. So when, when all that sort of happens and comes around, I think it's going to lot, make a lot more sense moving forward. Um, but otherwise guys that is pretty much it let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below um, again once more make sure you go ahead and hit the like button for me that will really be appreciated and help me out a lot if you guys haven't done so already sorry hit the subscribe button notification bell alrighty guys take it easy and I'll catch you next time